Okay, so we are going live. Woohoo! Okay, we are live. We are live and kicking. <laughs> I was also singing. I don't know what what came over me, but I was singing a lot and uh, being happy for some reason. But yeah, it's uh, another Sunday and another live stream. Hello, everyone that is online. I already see Marlena. And hello to everybody else. Tam, tam, tam. We are now live. The cat is out of the box. How to say? <laughs> okay. So today, what are we doing? I made this wreath. And this is a wreath with lots of pumpkins. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, okay, I've done so many flower wreaths. And today, we're just going to go do pumpkins. And um, how are we calling these ones? Uh, fun nuts and and so on and uh, i also added a mod here because why not like i like mods and so on uh but this is what we're gonna do today tan, 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 tan. let me see if everybody can see us yeah everybody can see us hi all hi johan sound is okay thank you okay this is awesome now we can continue and we can do stuff I will say the cat is out of the box. I like emojis ri uh, right now. So, you know, <laughs> this is what we're going to do. So, if you're wondering what I'm going to do, I have all my palettes here. It's funny. This is going to be a combination one. So, we're first going to go with the graffiti and palette. And these are the colors from the graffiti. It's a uh, pocket set. I wish they would come up with more colors, but, you know, wishes don't always come true. Uh, but I actually wanted to, um, to use, uh, for this little, um, how do I call them? Uh, eucalyptus leaves. I wanted to do it with this set. Don't know why I thought it was such a nice idea, but I'm going to use the slate green on one of the leaves. And slate green is a nice blue green from this set. And I'm going to add it here and then I'm going to come with water and spread it around. And then on the other one, I'm going to use the russet or the yellow. And it's going to be okay. By the way, the brush I'm using is the silver black velvet brush, uh, which is really nice. I like the silver black velvet. And I started using them again. I had them in my... I've been using a lot of the Escoda Versatile. And they're really nice brushes. I'm not denying that. Uh, but for some reason, you know, I wanted to change. So this is my change. This is what I'm doing. So I'm just going to use these brushes for, for a certain period. I mean, I'm not saying that I will never go back to the other one. I have many brushes. I was looking through my drawers. I have a drawer next to me <laughs> with so many brushes. Um, I have to go through them and see, you know, what I'm going to use and what, what I'm never going to use again. Um, for the simple reason that I have too many brushes and, you know, I have to, I have to decide what I'm going to use and what I'm not going to use out of them. Um, the funny part is every time I go to an art store, I always buy two things and Probably that's why I have so many brushes. I always buy brushes and I always buy uh, paper. So I it turns out that I have lots of paper, lots of arches paper, and I have lots of uh, brushes. So I'm not saying it's a good or a bad thing, but I think I should stop buying brushes, to be honest, because I have way too many. Um, I was going a little bit... Um, over the lines with it. Mm, the problem with this brush is it's not a problem, it's that it's pretty long. So I'm not yet used to it, but it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna make it really nice. And this my graffiti set is one of my favorite sets so far. I don't know if you guys have a favorite set. I have my graffiti set and that's because the colors are so muted but also so nice. And I'm really loving it. It's uh, it's not really watercolor. Well, it kind of technically it's a water medium, right? 
but it's like ink it's actual ink and uh, with graphite in it so it's like ink that reactivates with water ink made powder or cakes and then they added graphite that's why it's so muted so their special own special formula but yeah and it's one of my favorite sets and this is what I'm using for these leaves I'm not gonna use it for all, all of them because I have all my sets here or my important sets let's put it this way it's not like I have all, all of my sets because all of my sets are gonna be way too much but um, yeah this is what I'm doing here and I just wanted to do this ones in the middle okay and that's about it for now okay I'm gonna go back to my other sets so welcome to whoever is joining right now uh, this is awesome by the way my husband is uh, currently not in because he's waiting for the food <laughs> I ordered food and it hasn't arrived because they somehow delivered it to the wrong address <laughs> so <laughs> I'm starting to get a little bit like what happened there because I obviously ordered it to the right address not to the wrong address but anyway eventually they will arrive by the way um, the pumpkin I'm gonna add red right but first I'm adding this knock um, I'm just doing one or two of them I don't even know what three one two three I don't even know how many I have uh, this is Knackendom gold hue right obviously um it's undiluted i'm gonna use it here as well it looks like an orange this connectum gold hue okay so my house is at a very peculiar place and a lot of the how do you say the google and and everything that will tell you where my house is, is making a mistake. And it's always telling me that it's on the other side of the street. As in, at the end of the street. And they always go to number 100 and whatever my number is instead of my number. And they always get surprised when this is not happening. Which is okay, you know, it's fine, but... Sometimes I'm wondering if people are doing it on purpose or not. <sighs> so, what does that mean? That means I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> and that's okay. We, uh, we don't have to always eat. Okay. But it can be quite distracting. So... I'm not grumpy, you know, I, I am sometimes grumpy when I haven't eaten, but the good part is that I did sleep very well. So, you know, from that side of the of the thing, I'm okay. My husband is probably now talking with the guys from the delivery service because they again don't know where our house is. He's gonna go out. <laughs> it's so funny every time, every time it happens. And I don't know why, uh, it's probably because they have different different delivery people all the time. They get so confused. Like if it was the, the same delivered person, um, I could have understand. By the way, now I'm going to add the red. And the red is going to be some perlin, perlin red. And I'm going to add the red in certain areas. And the it's still not completely dry it's still wet in certain areas I'm not sure if in this area is still wet and I'm going to add it here as well okay that one I'm not doing yet because I'm noticing that things have started to dry out a bit okay So. 
well. Because I'm adding red directly to the yellow, it'll make it a nicer orangey color. And that means I'm mixing directly on the paper, okay? So, and I'm going to add some purples and some other different colors around, but it's okay. I think now finally the food is here, everything, everything will be fine. After I'm done with the live stream, I will be able to eat. And if you're wondering, what did I order? <laughs> it's just some salads, man. It's just some salads. It's nothing fancy. I didn't order burgers or anything. We're eating healthy today. Okay? So, it's just salads. But it will be fine. Okay? Although we did order from the burger place, but... The burger place has really some nice salads with the same meats as the burgers, like some nice chicken and so on. Like, but they have really good Caesar salads, I would say. Okay, so this is this is how we are doing it today. Okay, what happened this week? Uh, a lot of things happen, especially with the kids. The kids are a little bit upset with us right now. I think I'm feeling like we are the persona non gratas. <laughs> Uh, we had to take them to uh, to the vet, so that was the interesting part. And they don't like to be taken to the vet. And they uh, has, you know, usually my male cat. He's very brave, and every time he went to the vet, he was just exploring everything and and going about. But this time, for some reason, he got super scared, and he didn't want to get out of the basket. Mm, he didn't want to be handled and um, yeah it was just eerie and then he arrives home and he got into a kind of a, a strike like I don't like you guys anymore <laughs> what did you make me do you know this kind of like kitty cat strike where they're like I'm not eating and I'm not doing anything and only today they started eating again so <sighs> my poor cat, kitty cats I, I don't understand why they're so scared of the, the poor doctor because she's such a nice lady and they're only there for like 5 minutes, 10 minutes at the most. They get checked out, it's their yearly check out, they get the injection, which is normal because you have to have the, the normal yearly injection, right? And then that's it. So I don't understand why they had to be so scared of her. There are also no other cats and dogs around, right? I mean, it's not like they got scared by other animals around because we were the only ones they had. Because they, they still operate on, okay, you come at this hour. It's not like you can come there whenever you want. And that's fine because I like that. I like to, you know, to be at a certain hour. But, yeah. Don't ask me why they just they just got spooked. So only today finally they managed to get out of their shell a little bit and be like their old self. But yeah, this is what happened. And on the way there, and imagine this: my vet is about not even ten minutes walking from where I am. Okay, so the vet is very close by to where I'm living. It's at the end of our street, basically. Um, which is also why we wanted to move here because it has everything together. It has our normal doctor, the vet, everything is close by, you know? So we were like, hey, <laughs> this is the perfect spot for us. So the uh, question was, uh, for a 10 minute walk, I don't understand why they were so upset. Honestly, I don't understand why they were so upset. Anyway. I'm doing here all the stuff. My husband is back. He brought his uh, his cola as well. And now we're going to go to the other one. So you notice that I did some different type of um, uh, pumpkin. And this one I'm going to do with a little bit of green and yellow. Okay. So let's see. We have some green and some yellow. So... You know, there are pumpkins and pumpkins. Pumpkins don't necessarily need to be uh, orangey or red or anything. I mean, 
certain pumpkins are, but not everything. And this particular one is not. Uh, we've been into one an adventure. Did I tell you about the adventure? I didn't tell you about the adventure. So, <laughs> two days ago, no, not two days ago, yesterday actually, I told my husband I want to pick up the bikes and I want to go on an adventure. What I actually meant was not really adventure, but I, I meant that I actually want to go bike around on our normal bike route. And when he's when I said that, he's like, okay, Claudia, you go on an adventure. I let you decide the route, right? So I was like, okay, I kind of kind of remember where where we needed to go to go to the forest. So I I went to go to the forest, but then of course I took the wrong turn because I have absolutely no sense of direction. I don't know if you know me, but if you know me, I have no sense of direction. So you cannot count on me for anything uh, on that sense. And I took the wrong turn. And we ended up biking around the neighborhoods into places I've never been before. It was truly an adventure. We arrived at the lake, which I didn't even know existed. Uh, was a really nice place. Um, on the middle of the lake, there was this island. And this island had like this arch, which I was not expecting. Um, it looked like it was a portal to another world. And I, I was always like, okay, how do people get to that island? And was like, okay, on, the only way to either swim there or uh, to go with the boat, right? And it looked really eerie and so on. And then uh, right next to it, on the other side, there was this old diner, like a real American diner. Okay, now remember, guys, I'm not in America. I am in the Netherlands. What does an American diner look in the middle of nowhere? It was abandoned. We found out that they, they went bankrupt a while ago. You know, it's fine. It's okay to go bankrupt sometime, right? Uh, but it looks so eerie because there was almost nobody around. It was in the middle of this foresty area. Um, it really looked like it was a, a different dimension. I was like, did we go somewhere in a different dimension? And we didn't even realize what was going on. And, you know, I kept making these jokes. And then we, the funniest part of all, well, the funniest, the, the weirdest part of all was uh, we went to a bridge and this bridge is just now constructed, okay? And it's a bridge between the land and one of the islands in the middle. I mean, we are surrounded by lakes and so on. So uh, this bridge was just constructed, but it's not open on both sides because on the other side, you technically cannot go in on the other side, right? Because there's still constructed stuff on that island. They're making houses and, you know, all sorts of different things. And I was like, okay, let's get in there. And and uh, we went to the bikes up until the bridge was closed off with the fence, right? And it was night and we could see the city. Uh, the, you know, the city was looking really nice. Um, with all the lights and so on, we could start seeing the stars. And we were just sitting there on a bench because they put benches on this bridge. It's a new bridge, right? I was like, okay, at least they're letting people on the bridge to just walk around and, you know, have uh, have a look around before they actually, you know, give everybody the right to go everywhere there. And then what we noticed, it was night, remember, night. <laughs> We notice a guy, I am assuming it was a guy, on the other side of the bridge, on the other side of the fence. And we were like, how did this guy got there? There's no way he passed us because there's no way he could have, you know, gotten around. There's no way that it's open on the other side because we, we knew we tried to go on the other side. So we were like, how did this guy, is this guy some sort of different dimension person that came and, you know, he didn't say anything. He was just looking at us. Uh, and then he left. And we were like, okay, this is spooky. Because, you know, a guy on the other side of a bridge that is closed, just looking through the fence at us. And then he went back, basically, on the other side of the bridge where it's dark. There's no lights because they're still constructing everything. There's nothing there. 
I was like, where did this guy go to? Who is he? What's going on? You know, very confusing. So yeah, that was our night. We ended up actually leaving that place because it's becoming creepy a little bit, you know. <sighs> adventure. Yeah, so I wanted an adventure and I got an adventure. I will. I definitely made quite some nice pictures and I think I will, I will enjoy uh, drawing something out of it. We ended up uh, finding a um, community garden. I didn't even know it existed. Uh, it was a really nice garden, apparently well tended. Um, they already did harvest all the stuff, but I could see, you know, that they had tomatoes and all sorts of stuff. I didn't even know that in my city they're doing community gardens. I don't know if in your city they're doing that. I have no idea. Um, so anyway, that was, that was pretty fun. So that was yesterday. I think we biked for an hour and a half all around. Uh, we got lost into another park. Um, going around in circles. Luckily, uh, we managed to get into the right track to get home. Um, by the way, and our city is quite big, right? It's not like I, I'm living in a tiny town and then after two turns you're there. Because it's not like that. My city is quite big, so <laughs> we biked quite a lot. Uh, and you can definitely get lost because we are surrounded also by by waters. We are we are technically an island, right? And <laughs> on the island there are lakes, and on the lakes there are smaller islands, which is weird. Um, so we are surrounded by water on sides, and there's lots of forest around. So you know you can very easily get lost around in the forests and other other places. Um, so that's why I said adventure. <laughs> and now, of course, it's uh, getting a little bit later. I mean, it, it's getting later. Normally, around the time when we went, around 8 o'clock, right? Um, it wouldn't have been dark because when it's summer, it's quite nice outside. But now, already from 6 o'clock, it starts to get dark. So <laughs> that was like... Uh, my uh, my take on it so yeah a true adventure i would say a true adventure uh it was quite fun though it was quite fun it's fun not to know and the funny part is my husband knew where we were and why knew because my husband has a very good sense of direction i don't have that sense of direction at all right so he was messing with me because he, I was asking, so where, where do I turn right now? <laughs> where do I go to go back home? I was starting to get worried because we were, and he didn't want to tell me. He's like, well, you have your Google Maps. And, you know, I get lost even with Google Maps. Okay, I'm that bad with direction. Don't know about you. I am that bad with direction, even on Google Maps. So, uh, yeah, he was just messing with me the whole time. <sighs> sometimes, sometimes I'm thinking, what have I done <laughs> to, uh, to have a husband like this? But it's okay, it's okay, he's nice, he's really nice. Uh, in the end, I managed to find the signs also on the road, and I, I took the right one. And uh, then I arrived home, I was pretty late last night when we arrived home, but it was nice, okay, and that was our little adventure, I never knew that we had an American diner, technically, okay, and uh, that, that surprised me, um, I felt a little bit sad that they actually went bankrupt, because I wasn't expecting that, um, it happens, right? I mean, with the, with the current state of the economy, a lot of companies went bankrupt. So, not much, not much we can do there, right? But yeah, it was sad, and I wish if I would have known, I I wish I would have went there to see, you know, what type of food they have and uh, 
what did they serve, but maybe somebody will buy it in the future, who knows. Maybe it will be bought by somebody else and opened. It looked really nice. I guess they wanted to make it something that looks like an American diner. I'm I'm just assuming, right? So by the way, I'm I'm doing I'm doing the nuts with um burnt sienna and I'm not sure if that's the correct one, but I will deepen it later on with a different brown. It's okay. And I'll make some lines. Burnt sienna and then burnt and then this is Van Dyke Brown. This is Van Dyke Brown and Burn Sienna. I'm not an expert in nuts and stuff. So if you're wondering how to draw or to watercolor nuts, I'm, it's not in my repertoire. But I'm trying my best here. Okay. And I'm going to do this one. And afterwards we're doing the leaves and everything else. And then we're going to add lots of details and lots of different fun things. Okay. Van Dyke Brown again. What's the difference between Van, Van Dyke and Brown and Burn Umber? Van Dyke Brown is much more towards gray. So it's a gray kind of color. And um, burnt amber is really brown, brownish, warm towards the red. But they are very similar on the other ones, right? So I'm going to add burnt amber afterwards to this one. Once it's dried, just to create shadows and whatnot, okay? I very rarely use the browns on my palette and now it's the first time that I'm actually using the browns. Maybe I should use them more. I think I could use them more if I would do more landscapes and stuff, but I almost never do, you know? Once it's dry, I'm gonna make it more darker behind the stem there and, you know, I'm gonna add some lines and some stuff. So that's okay. Um, I'm really happy on how how uh, this one's got a, uh, got along. And of course, I'm going to add details and dots and stippling and all sorts of stuff on them. And that's going to make them really nice. Yeah. Johan says it was so much fun. Yeah, it was, it was really much fun. Because uh, going on an adventure like this, yeah. Theoretically, our time is about 25 kilometers from Amsterdam, so you could technically bike it in, within an hour or an hour and a half. The only problem is you have to go over the bridge, and there's a bridge that connect, connects the mainland with, with our island. But it feels like one kilometer going up here. <laughs> it's a really, really, really tough bridge, and I am not sure. Uh, I mean, I, I had to bike it a couple of times, but <laughs> yeah. By the way, I forgot about this one here. <laughs> I'm I'm picking up my graphite tint again because I forgot that I did three eucalyptus leaves. I didn't know that. I was I don't know why I was not paying attention, man. Not paying attention. So. These are really fun. These are really fun to do. I think reeds are the funniest ones to do and is the easiest composition that you can have in in my view. Like whenever you don't know what composition to do, whenever you don't know when when you are in doubt, you know, you read it out or you do a read. Um, because trust me, it's the easiest gain out of all of them okay so. i've also lately i think i was a little bit tired because i've been sleeping a lot and um 
I have an, actually I have a lot of videos that I wanted to do time life time lapses of, but I I didn't. And for some reason, yeah, I was really tired. It's okay. Sometimes, sometimes it happens. Um, sometimes your body, especially, I call it a uh, weird autumn kind of thing. Especially when it's autumn, my body becomes really tired. By the way, I'm I'm doing some leaves here, and. I'm mixing up colors, so don't worry. There's gonna be a mixer wrapper, and I'm gonna come also with some red on the other side. I'm mixing some red here. This is an autumn leaf, okay? <gasps> I put way too much water there. So I slept. I slept today till twelve o'clock. I have to admit. Um, and it's okay to sleep I think whenever your body goes and tells you hey, you know you're burning out or something like that just go and sleep it's the best um, I'm gonna say it's the best decision ever because it is because if you don't listen to your body then bad things might happen Mm. I mean, if you are going at a pace where your body doesn't, you know, doesn't uh, sustain your itself, then you can get sick, you can get, um, you know, making rash decisions and, and being grumpy. And this is how I can explain it. Whenever I'm tired, I'm being grumpy. And men... I can be really grumpy sometimes, like really, really grumpy. And especially when I'm working and then I'm becoming grumpy and I might by mistake, you know, I'm not saying I'm yelling at people, but when you're grumpy, you know, people don't necessarily like to be around you or, uh, you know, it makes no sense to take it down on your colleagues. Just go ahead and sleep even though I might think oh I'm I'm losing a day or two here it's okay you know no harm done as long as I know that I've slept properly look how beautiful these autumn leaves are because I'm adding the red okay and whenever the red touches this green as well it can transform into brown so that's even nicer, you know? Mm. I wonder which one should I do next. I think I'll do this one. By the way, I'm still using my graphite tint set. And I'll use my other set, my tundra set soon. For other leaves. That's okay. We're going to have some nice leaves. But this set is also nice. And the nicest part about watercolors is that you can combine sets, man. You can combine sets all the time. It doesn't have to be the same watercolor set. It doesn't have to be the same brand. Because they kind of work together. So they're nice. They work together. Okay. Let's see this one. Okay, what else did we do yesterday? Oh, yesterday, towards the evening, that's why I was also actually so far, so much out. Uh, we went to see Dune. Um, the cinemas are open, so we went to see Dune at the cinema. By the way, if I, I've read the Dune books when I was really young. I've read all of them, and including the ones uh, done by uh, Brian Herbert, his son, and... Everything. So I read the original Dune books, the all the continuation, the prequels and the sequels, and you know, like the entire saga. I've read it. Um, I was pretty young when I read it, and now I'm thinking I want to read it again. And 
the the movie really surprised me. The movie surprised me because it was done really masterful, I would say. Um, the music was so nice. I was not expecting the music to be so nice and and gripping and it really makes you feel like they were feeling like they were feeling hunted and and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm I'm really happy that they decided to do this. Um, by the way, and I I am a, a sci-fi fan. I don't know if you guys don't know that or if you didn't know about me. I read lots of sci-fi books and. Um, ever since I was very young, I read a lot, and I'm still reading to this day. Um, and this is why I went to Dune because I really liked the books, and I was like, I'm really hoping that they did justice to the books, and they did. It was really good. It was a good production, right? I have to, I have to give due whatever due is, um, and I have to say, you know, they did their job good. They did their job good. Um, cannot wait for number two in the series um, because this is just they did the movie after the first book only, so I want to see how they portray the second book and maybe the third books. It's gonna be nice. We're gonna see. Um, so actually, because we've been to the movies and because the movie was in the evening, we ended up coming home around. I think one o'clock in the evening yeah one o'clock or something so yeah it happens it was quite late uh, but I don't regret it so probably that's why I slept so much also today I haven't been and realizing oh by the way though what we were realizing is when when were we uh, oh Johan says I was surprised by the movie also yeah <laughs> Uh, so, um, <laughs> the, the movie was really nice. The last movies we've been to were, and I kid you not, 2019, uh, on, uh, it was Frozen 2. That was the last movie that we've been to. And we were looking, we were like, I wonder what was the last movie that we have ever been to. Uh, you know, yesterday we were trying to figure out what were the last tickets that we bought. And then after lots of searching, we realized that it was Frozen 2. And Frozen 2 was the last movie we've seen in cinema since this whole Cold Mort thing started. It's amazing. Um... I still cannot believe it that it's been so long since since basically we uh, we've been to the movies. It's amazing. I don't know. I don't know what to say other than wow. Uh, it was nice. We ate way too many cookies. I think I had lots of M M M M's M M's M M M's. I should not have bought so many M M M's. And that was that was a mistake. But, you know, I haven't been to the movies in a very long time. And I haven't had M&M's and any cool stuff in a very long time. Like popcorn. When was the last time I ate popcorn? Exactly the last time I went to the movies. Because I never do popcorn at home anymore. And that was it. Yeah. This is how things go, man. This is how things go. So, um, yeah, that was that was our life uh, last week. Of course, besides that, the normal going to work and doing things at work. Uh, everybody has work, I guess. Not just me. I started learning. Uh, for the driver's license. I did the first two chapters of the book. And uh, I cannot wait to do the other parts. I think I want to do the exam. Uh, by the end of the year. Uh, oh yeah. And then people will go like. What do you mean you don't have a driver's license? Yeah. I don't have a driver's license. Okay. I never actually studied. Because in the Netherlands. You don't really need a car. 
like okay america and other places might actually require you to have a car otherwise you cannot go anywhere in here i mostly take my bike so i don't really need to do anything or yeah i don't really need to do anything <laughs> so uh that is that is the best way i can describe it <laughs> okay um but you know like everybody everybody is doing uh everybody's doing it right now and i've decided to do it as well uh just so that i have it isn't i'm not sure i'm gonna use it that much though but i'm thinking okay my parents are getting a bit older um, they will probably need me to take them around, like hospitals and all sorts of stuff. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to need it. Um, so I might as well do it. And that's a normal, normal thing. And to be honest, I have not studied in a very long time. It's, um, it's very funny how I'm like, oh, now I have to study. <laughs> so yeah uh I'm going to do some other leaves around, but I'm gonna do them with yellow men yellow and red, not with green and red, but yellow and red. Let's see how that will look like, and then we're gonna do some darker darker leaves because it's autumn, right? This is an autumn reef, so let's do everything autumny. And again, I'm going over the lines, but that's fine. I'm starting to... I'm starting to learn to love going over the lines. What do you guys think if you will see me do basically no line watercolor? Like, what if I would, I would start doing loose florals? What do you guys think? Because I have a very unique way of doing watercolors, right? I mean, I'm doing, I'm doing this. Um, it's more illustrative style, right? Not, not so much loose style at all. There's nothing loose in here. But I was just wondering, what do you guys think? Maybe I should do a. Maybe I should do a pool. Oh yeah, the community tab. I started using the community tab and I want to use it more. I was just wondering if everybody is looking at the community tab in YouTube. I'm I'm watching sometimes, you know. Not always, but I am watching sometimes. The community tabs. And Yeah. Oh yeah. I also what I did is I there was this uh how do you call I I keep having the Dutch word in my mind. <clears throat> when they give you a, um um a big uh like you wanna buy something and they say it's forty percent off or stuff like that. Anyway, it was something like that for um, Adobe Premiere, as you know, for my editing of videos, I, I used to use the Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve, but it's not exactly what, it's not exactly, oh, oh, look, I have one here that I forgot to do. It has quite some bugs, let's put it this way, right? It's sometimes it takes me a long time. Especially when I want to add voiceover or other things. It can be quite tricky. And I started uh, learning how to use Adobe Premiere. And I think this has opened the world to me to new possibilities. I cannot wait to, to learn some more. I have, like all my live streams, I'm also, by the way, recording... I'm really hoping that I was I still have <laughs> space on my 
hard drive for all the recordings but <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> these are the recordings that I'm doing and um, by the way I think I want to do some leaves that are red okay we're gonna we're gonna do this we're gonna try this one and we're gonna try some red and then we're gonna start with some perlin violet and the red is gonna be the alizarin crimson you might wonder why because i think i need a little bit more contrast in here man okay so um what i want to do is i want to do um like really fast of the live streams that i'm doing to have them um like sped up really fast and also um looking like a like a time series not because I, I just want to post them, especially for the people that don't have the time to watch me two hours in a live stream. But they want to see what I've done. And they want to see it in a fast pace. Then, uh, you know, they can they can always do that. If you notice what happened here, <laughs> let me tell you. I've been trying to put... Um, I have a piece of paper around the light. And now the light has become much brighter. <laughs> Because I am low key, so um, maybe I should do a video about that. I do not have like proper lights. I have a light bulb that is very bright, and then I have a piece of vellum around it to diffuse the light. And you know, normally that's okay for me. Uh, the only problem is that the piece of vellum keeps getting. Uh, thrown away because the light bulb uh, gets really hot so what happens is when the light bulb gets really hot then uh, the glue on top of the masking tape that I'm using gets um, not so strong anymore so always that thing falls over <laughs> I try to always secure it, secure it before a live stream. It doesn't always work. So, by the way, if you want to do live streams or something, you actually don't need a lot of, like, you don't need, like, the like, ring lights or anything. Literally, these are IKEA lamps that I have. I have two IKEA lamps that are, like, 12 euros or something. I just bought, like, really bright light bulbs for them. And that's kind of it. That's how my live stream setup is. And it provides enough light for that, right? So, um, yeah, if, if you ever wanted to know what I was, what I had, I think I've listed them into the description of the video, uh, the light bulbs that I have. They're not that expensive and, you know, they fit in a normal IKEA lamp. And the IKEA lamps, I have them on a shelf above me, uh, the same shelf that I have for my papers and so on, because I have lots of papers. And uh, those are the normal IKEA lamps that I use. And they work pretty fine. I, I don't think I need more than that. Of course, there are many setups, and of course, people go for the ring lights and all sorts of random things and I'm always saying that you don't need that if you wanna if you wanna just start and I started a year ago I still haven't changed them because I don't see the need for that okay uh, I'm gonna go around so one two three I'm gonna do this one I'm gonna do this one this one and then maybe one of these two like that 1949 what time zone is it where you guys are at 
because for me it's uh, 7.49 right now on a Sunday evening. It's pretty nice. It's evening. It's okay if I went over the line with this red here. It's fine. It borders the... It borders the nice leaf uh, and the nice pumpkin here, but it's okay. By the way, the color, the darker color that I'm using is Perlin Violet because that matches very well. That matches very well what we're doing here. Perlin Violet and Alizanin Crimson, two colors that just work together really, really well. I have to say. When it's gonna dry out, I'm going to do some different layers maybe, but for now, this is okay. Um, and we're gonna go very slowly here. Normally, when I would normally do, when I'm not on a live stream, <laughs> I would turn around this, I would turn around my piece of paper because it it is easier when you are actually uh, painting onto the direction towards you, towards your body, because it's it is easier to control. For me now, I'm doing a little bit of a different thing, but it's okay. You know, well, we will survive because if I move things around, I'm not sure if the picture will become the same um, because right now it's sharp but if I move it around it might go unsharp and I'm not sure I want that you know and that one was not supposed to be there well you can count, uh, count on it as being a shadow there notice that I went over the line it's fine it looks like a shadow so I did the oh, bother change five. We're gonna do two more. One of them being this one. Right next to this pumpkin, which is really cool. Man, I don't know how to say it, but whoever invented Alison in Crimson is a genius. Is this is the perfect red. Johan, you know everything about all the colors. Who invented Alizarin Crimson? Who invented this color? Because we need to thank him. It looks like vampire's color. <laughs> I know it's a bit weird. Vampire's color. And Berlin. Alizarin Crimson. You know what I'm noticing? Like, I used to watch in the past lots of different artists that were doing this. And they were always talking talking in terms of colors that they were using. And they seem to know all these colors by heart. Like, what colors I'm using here. And if I mix this with, like, alizarin crimson, what I'm mixing it with this and this other one. And... Um, they look so knowledgeable and I thought I will never reach that stage where I can I can do that or <laughs> whatever. That's what I thought back then and I'm realizing right now that I'm doing it. It's so funny. It is so funny. Okay. Um. Yep, I will continue doing that, this one. And notice how I am trying to go around. By the way, I was looking at the reels. I mean, I was trying to make some reels for Instagram. And I realized that I'm not the type of person that does reels with myself in it. It's so weird. I found it so weird. But maybe this is what is needed. 
I wanted to make some reels only about the color combinations or something like that. That would be that would be something nice. But I don't know. It might mean that I need I need to gather my courage and do it. I think it's all about courage. And I was reading something about courage this week saying that fear is a reaction but courage is a decision which is which i thought was really funny because it's probably true okay and i'm gonna do this one here and i know it's not the same type of leave i've been doing with this one but it's okay you know we are closing in the loop We are closing in the loop. Okay. really having this here okay that that is the perfect one and then I have a couple of leaves which I think I need to do them with a really darker color mm. and by darker color I mean some darker green because it also needs a balance on the other side of the green you know and this is the blue green this is blue green and I'm going to add blue to this leaf, to this side. And I'm going to add thunder blue. And thunder blue is a really dark blue. And I'm hoping it will look really nice. Yeah. It does frame everything really nicely, right? Okay. Forest green and then thunder blue. These are my last leaves. And then we're going to do the moth. Because the moth is also very important. And then we're going to add all sorts of details and stippling and, you know, things. Things that need to be added. And I'm pretty sure you're wondering how come there's a blue leaf in autumn, but I'm pretty sure there are all manner of leaves in autumn. Right? Not only blue, but all manner. This one I think I need to do it with yellow and red, but it's gonna be okay. I just forgot their one. Okay, that's a nice leaf. Okay, this also is nice. You see how nice this darker leaf is framing all the other elements that might be a little bit more lighter. It's framing it really nice. And of course, it creates a good contrast and you already have a nice contrast with the red and then you go and you break that one with some blue and you go like what is this you know and I have only two more leaves there and then we are we are on a good track just to add the details okay 
Okay, so Johan says, I'll have a look. It's a rich, deep red color, synthetic pigment. Crimson equals red. Alizarim crimson, yeah. So it's a synthetic color. Yeah, I, I would have known because it's very hard to have. Like, usually the reds you find in nature, they're very much towards the brown. I don't think you can find that deep of a red in, in nature. Um, or towards the orange, maybe. So, yeah. It is, it is interesting. Okay. So, this looks really nice. And I cannot wait to add the details. And first, I'm going to do this one. And this one, I think I'm going to do some a really nice Potter's Pink. And this one, this li this one should be <sighs> maybe actually blue. And this one should be Potter's Pink. Let's see. Okay. The last leaf that I'm going to do uh, with this forest green and forest green is it's a color from schminke okay this is my schminke palette it's really nice super granulating everything is really nice as a color okay so what was i saying this last leaf it needed to be done with yellow and the yellows that i had was from the graffiti set this yellow and this is what i'm gonna do here and uh, with the red and that should be fine and now i'm gonna add the red and the rest is gonna be here it's gonna break it out it's gonna be really nice Okay, now let's go back to the moth. What should be the moth's color? The underside, actually, I want it to be really uh, purple with brown. So I'm going to do it really dark purple. So... This needs to be a really velvety rich color. Velvet rich color. And then we're gonna come in with some brown towards the end and mix it with some brown. By the way, this color is called Perlin Maroon and I'm gonna come with Burned Umber. And if you didn't know, brown and purple make some really nice combinations. I mean, remember this is a moth, okay? I'm gonna see how how we mix the two. Okay. And that is the under layer of the of the moth. Okay, and maybe when it gets dry I'm going to do more of that color. And cannot wait to see how it dries but yeah and then the other part is going to be really nice potter's pink and potter's pink I have here and I'm making a really uh, thick consistency of potter's pink okay and that's gonna be that's gonna play nice with with the really dark color of the other um, of the other how do you call those butterfly wings wings because you know I'm gonna have some wings that are really dark and some wings that are gonna be really pale and then we're gonna of course add 
add lines but that's okay not now it needs to dry before we add any lines to it okay so <clears throat> that was done what the body i'm going to use buff titanium and you know because the bodies are most often not important Of course, the moon, we're going to maybe do it with some really nice different things there. Okay. So, now we are at the moment where we're going to add lots of details. Okay. <laughs> so, be prepared. Be prepared. Um, on the leaves, we, we have to add lots of dark spots and stuff because the leaves are dying man you know so I'm gonna add dark spots on the leaves well not all the leaves but at least some of them Okay, that's really nice. And then I'm going to take a darker consistency of this brown and I'm going to try to make some lines here. Okay, for these ones, mm -hmm. nice, and then there's gonna be all sorts of different dots and whites and stuff like that. And for that, I need my white gel pen. So let's pick up my white gel pen. And now you can see my microphone. Hello there. So. And we're going to add some white dots. Why not? Especially on the darkest ones. on the blue leaves and and whatnot and the red leaves they sounds nice to have some white dots just picks them out again and not only dots but also some lines and some stuff also here right I'm trying really hard not to touch anything with my fingers or my clothing because that's going to be interesting. I'm I'm just adding highlights here and there, highlights and I'm going to come with black pen and I'm going to add lots of black dots and a little bit more stippling where it's needed so as to, you know, but definitely it's just some highlights here and there 
okay and here also some highlights 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 we don't even need to go all that deep okay this one one is gonna dry i'm gonna draw some lines and this one is gonna be uh done really with the black pen but again it needs to dry if i'm trying now with a black pen it's not going to be very good okay uh so that's all there is to it let me just close down this one Marlena says it's amazing and the colors are beautiful. Thank you so much. I don't even know. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to in the same time also write, but I of course I cannot write, right? <laughs> uh, let me see. I hope you guys like it. I for sure enjoyed this piece. I enjoy to doing the really the autumn colors and the pictures are gonna look amazing right and um, yeah this is one of my last reads for now I have many other ones there's they're not a reef but you know they're different designs that I've already done uh, but for now you know I, I got my kick out of doing the reefs so they're really nice I wanted to thank you so much for watching with me and staying with me and liking this um, uh, really nice video and I hope to catch you next time I think it's next Wednesday and we're gonna do some really nice design it's gonna be a mirror and a girl um, and yeah it's gonna look really pretty awesome okay so stay tuned for the next Wednesday one and until then stay safe and have fun till next time